Let me give Juventus a title to hope as Atalanta Fiorentina go today again for a place in the final. And in England, Avas ensures the blue stone white at the Emirates as Arsenal keep alive the hope of winning the EPL. Good morning and welcome to another exciting edition of Sport Trip. I am Oluji Midari Ogun saying welcome to the show. Is your heart racing because your MTN line is blocked? You can't make calls. You can't receive calls. Not even text messages. Nothing at all. What about bank alerts? All these happened because you haven't linked your NIN to your MTN line. Unblock your MTN line today by linking it to your NIN. Rush to any nearby MTN store or agent. If you don't have your NIN yet, no problem. Simply go to any nearby NIMC office to get your NIN. MTN, what are we doing today? Is your heart racing because your MTN line is blocked? You can't make calls. You can't receive calls. Not even text messages. Nothing at all. What about bank alerts? All these happened because you haven't linked your NIN to your MTN line. Unblock your MTN line today by linking it to your NIN. Rush to any nearby MTN store or agent. If you don't have your NIN yet, no problem. Simply go to any nearby NIMC office to get your NIN. MTN, what are we doing today? Straight to football on the home scene, Nigerian winger Demona Lukman has been named in the Serie A team of the week. Lukman was recognized for his impressive performance in Atalanta as a win-win against Monza. The 26 year old was recognized for his two assists in the keenly contested encounter. The winger's corner kick was diverted into the net by Belgian international Charles de Catellari in the first half stop eight time. Lukman was also the provider for El Bilal to raise second goal. The former Leicester City player has now registered eight goals and six assists in 26 league appearances for Gambel Gasparini's side this season. To another Nigerian international Premier League club, Crystal Palace have joined the list of clubs interested in Rafael Unyedika. Unyedika's impressive performance for club in the Belgian Pro League has caught the eyes of a number of top clubs. La Liga and Barcelona among the clubs reportedly interested in the Nigerian international. According to the Sun, Palace recruitment chief Nicky Fredman was in Belgium recently to watch the Nigerian international in action for Club Rouge. The London club are ready to put in a bid to beat other interested suitors. Unyedika will join club from Danish FC Midland in 2022. Is seen as one of the top young star players in Europe at the moment. The 23 year old has played for the two games in all competitions this season, scoring four goals and providing two assists. The Nigerian Football Federation has released the venue and date for the Federation Cup round of 16 fixtures. The NFF confirmed the venues and dates for the games via letters sent to all participating teams and state FA secretaries. The games will be played on 1st of May and 2nd of May, respectively. Oldas Bendel Assurance will take on Stormers FC of Abelkuta and the Area 3 Football Pitch Abuja on May 1st. The standard fixture of the round between Canopillas and Rangers will hold in Abuja on May 2nd. The winner of the fixture will represent Nigeria in the CAF Confederation Cup next season. Still on the home scene, goalkeeper Kingdom Mosai is optimistic Doma United will come good after their club's recent struggles in the Nigerian Premier Football League. The Savannah Tigers have recorded only one win in their last 14 games. Doma United are currently battling to escape relegation. Osai Samuel on Twitter wrote, and I quote, Trying times be two things to my mind. Keeping your head straight because no one is your problem. It is just a test of time. Reflect, respect, and continue to process with a winning mentality. Doma United fans will smile again. End of quote. Doma United will score United in their next game at the Pantami Stadium this weekend. Finally, on the home scene, Napoli president of Relo De Laurentiis is frustrated with his players amid the disappointing season. The Nerazzurri president is allowing on Napoli star like Karashkala and Giovanni De Laurentiis to depart the club in the summer if they wish. The club struggles with just 49 points in their three matches have put them in the risk of missing out on European competitions. De Laurentiis is willing to sell key players including Victor Osime, whose contract negotiation caused division in the team earlier in the season. Despite his 120 to 130 million euros release clause, Napoli have been open in parting with the Nigerian international for some time. Now to football in Europe, Juventus booked their place in the Coppa Italia final in a dramatic fashion after a 3-2 aggregate win over Lazio. Academy's middle scored seconds after coming in as a substitute in the 83rd minute to send the lady through at the Stadio Olimpico. Luis Alberto crosses in, it's a decent leap, and they get their goal. Tati Castellanos 
He's only scored two goals in 2024, but inside the first quarter of an hour, he cuts the deficit. Lazio on, Juventus nil. Castellanos! An incredible night for the Argentinian. Twice on the score sheet. Lazio a level in the tie. Resiltis and Kostic combined. Crossing. Chiesa almost gets there. Where? And there is Arkadius Milik. A brilliant substitution from Max Allegri. And Juventus get the goal that could well send them to the final. Celebration for Juventus as Milic came off the bench to score from his first touch and send the Italian Giants through to their 22nd Coppa Italia final. Later tonight is the other semi-final Coppa Italia game involving Fiorentina away from home to Atalanta at the Gilway Stadium. Arsenal was three point clear at the top of the English Premier League table and made a potential significant improvement to their goals difference with a cruising victory over Chelsea at the Emirates Stadium. The Gunners backed up their win at the Wolverhampton Wanderers with an emphatic performance by a dreadful display from a Chelsea side who looked like they wanted the season to end now after their FA Cup semi final defeat by Manchester City. Not that well. Space here for Rice. He's still going, Rice. And Trotter! It's Arsenal's 100th goal of the season, and more importantly, it's given them the lead early on. There's Rice again, and it's turned home by Ben White. And Havertz is away through the middle, played in by Edegaard. Finishes clinically, it's 3 0 Arsenal. Now Havertz. It's an excellent finish, it really is. Guy Havertz has scored twice against his former club. Kakare going inside, finding Erdegaard. That's another excellent ball to White. And it nestles in the top corner. It's just getting better and better and better for Arsenal. It's Arsenal 5, Chelsea 0. Landslide victory for the Gunners, but the game against Tottenham on Sunday will have huge ramifications for both teams and the Premier League title race. But the Gunners' spirit will be swearing after this result and performance. Later tonight in the English Premier League is the messy side debut between Everton and Liverpool, Wolves against Bournemouth, Crystal Palace against Newcastle United, Manchester United against Sheffield. In the friendly league, going Marseille against Nice, Monaco against Lille, not forgetting Lorient against Paris Saint Germain. To the news making the round now, Manchester City are considering a summer move for Newcastle United Brazilian midfielder Bruno Gomes. Portugal midfielder Bernardo Silva has decided to leave Manchester City and the 30-year-old who has a release clause of £50 million is keen on a move to Barcelona. Chelsea are inquiring about RB Leipzig and French centre-back Castelo Lubeca who has a £60 million release clause in his contract with the Bundesliga club side. Manchester United manager Derek Ten Hag is keen for the club to bring in another striker in the summer to boost his attack. Manchester United are at least a £10 million pounds apart from Newcastle United in the attempt to agree a compensation deal for sporting director Dan Aswad who has been played on the garden Live by the Magi piece. Chelsea defender Thiago Silva has used the verbal agreement with Fluminense with the Brazilian out of contract at the end of the season. Former Aston Manchester United striker Robin Van Persie is close to taking up his first managerial post after holding talks with Dutch top club Erevin. Real Madrid plans to extend the contract of the two year old defender Lucas Vasquez, who scoring deals runs out in June. Finally, Paris Saint Germain is in pursuit of Barcelona's 16 year old prodigy Lamin Yamal. This is where we call it a wrap on today's edition of Sports Trip. Keep listening to us on Lagos Traffic Radio at the 6.1. I am Olu Jimmy Dariogu. Saying stay sporty, stay healthy.